The thing about being an immigrant in Germany, and six years in now, is, you know, everything is really hard and difficult in the beginning, and everything is so new and exciting, but after a while, the hard things aren't hard anymore, and it's easy to be desensitized to your new life. It's really, can be really stressful just for being human. And so, when that happens, and that's happening to me right now, I just like to become a tourist in my own backyard. And so that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to go into the city in Hanover and we're going to be tourists for the day. So come with me. German life, look at all those bicycles. <laughs> got my bicycle stolen four times since moving to Germany. It was like within the first two years. I think at the time there was like a bicycle gang. <laughs> True story. I'm like, Germany is so safe, but the biggest thing they have are like people that go around stealing bicycles. Uh, so if you move to Germany, make sure to get your bicycle registered with the police just in case they find it. See this line here? This is for the blind, right? this here. Don't walk on this. Don't stand on this. Stay out of the way of people who need to use it. I used to be so scared of taking public transport when I first moved to Germany because I never took it before. Like, ever. Of course, if you come from New York City or maybe like a really big city or used to, you know, the subway and things like that, I was not. I didn't know how to do trains or local buses. I, no, 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 no. <laughs> So if any of you are scared about taking the trains in Germany and public transport and you want like an in-depth video, let me know in the comments and I'll do it for you. It's an excuse for me to take a trip. What's really cool about the Hanover train station is it's actually like a shopping mall. So you'll get directly out of your gate and you'll just basically be in a mall. So especially if you live out of the city or just like outside of the city and you need to go and go shopping, you could just take the train and not have to go anywhere else. Look how cool is that? Right down there and all the way leading out there is just still more of the shopping, shopping mall. Just keeps on going. Right outside of the train station is the tourist information center. And that's where we're gonna go because one of the coolest things in Hanover, oh, this is blocked off because they are cleaning up the trees. Look at them go. Yeah, I'm gonna show you one of the coolest parts of Hanover, I think. And this, this is the Tourist Information Center. And that is the red thread of Hanover. It will take you to 36 sites in Hanover that you can see. A lot of them are free. Uh, you just start off at the Tourist Information Center and then you just walk the, the red line, um, which I think is super cool. And I'm not gonna do all of it today. Maybe I'll do an entire tour one day. I'm in the mood for a little learning, so I think I'm gonna go to a museum today. And I haven't, honestly, I haven't really been to a museum in, a museum in Hanover. That's more of Claudio's thing. I'm not a museum girly, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. people that say why did you move to Hanover it's so boring here and I honestly just don't get it I mean I did move to a little village outside of Hanover because of my German husband but I feel like the luckiest girl in the world because I love the city look how green it is it's super beautiful here there's so much to do I really think Hanover is one of the most underrated cities in Germany honestly and also Hanover is like the perfect spot location wise it doesn't seem like it, it seems to be really far north but it's like the intersection of like transport it has great connections <laughs> all over Germany absolutely it's, if you live around Hanover you are like a straight shot to in any direction to anywhere in Germany it's fantastic and also in Europe as well too <laughs> talk inside of there it's like uh, the ruins of a church and it's always feels so sad every time I go in but it is one of the places that I do 
just um, love to show people when they come to Hanover because it has so much history, so much history behind it. And I love that the structure is still here, that we can see it, and to remember all of those who died. So definitely a place that I recommend visiting along the Red Thread. I thought I was in there for hours and actually it was exactly what I needed especially on days where you know it's just like hard to human <laughs> and then you go to a museum and you just realize how awesome humans are how cool is it to be a human oh I had so many of the things and it just like took you through time and I don't know it's not what I expected I absolutely loved it I cannot believe that it was there for hours. I'm exhausted. And right across the street, there it is. Right across the street is the beautiful park that I showed you earlier. And so I'm just going to rest. I do have a couple tips for you though. The cafe in there is really expensive and I forgot to pack myself a little lunch. In Germany, it's completely normal to bring in your own food and just like step off to the side out in like the, what do you, would you call it? Like a hallway, you know, just like an area where they have the benches. It's completely normal to eat your own food and bring your own food to a lot of places. As long as it's like not in a restaurant or like a, you know, even beer gardens are kind of weird, but I just don't do that. So the cafe is expensive. I would recommend bringing your own food. <laughs> I got a croissant and like two tiny pieces of fruit for five euros. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everything else is like 13 euros and up, which for me is just not worth it for a cafe and a museum. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I love me Gyozish. Oh my gosh, this is the blood one. one. It is so freaking good. It's just like my favorite drink, honestly. All their flavors are really great. But this one is my absolute favorite. Also, a lot of the signs are in German. Like I know German, but I don't know what complicated German is. So I just took my Google, my phone and took the Google Translate app and I just held it up and just read through it. It also has a media, um, audio media app too. I didn't see hardly any, like nobody using it except for me. And that does have an English option. So just use that too, because it's a lot and it's really cool. And it was free, this the audio app. I thought it was super amazing. I don't want, you're not allowed to film people in Germany, but the picnic that these Germans have set up, oh my God, can you see it? Where are they at? They're behind me. I'm not allowed to film them. They have like a mini table with like a blanket. It looks like a dining room outside. It looks like the cutest thing I've ever seen. It has like the whole family and they have like flags. <laughs> Roped off, it's so cute. Anyway, sorry. Last tip, you do have to turn in your backpacks. You have to put them in a locker, which is really common in Germany. And also it's really cool, you don't have to pay for it. You just put your one, a one euro or a two euro in and uh, then you get, you get it back after you use it, which in the US they always make you pay for lockers. Um, but here you just needed like a little deposit. However, I forgot to bring like a little purse or whatever. I can't, can't, my camera's not showing it. I usually have a purse or like a little fanny, fanny pack. I forgot mine. Um, so I had to like attach my key to like my belt and <laughs> stuff my, my paper in my pocket because I'm wearing pants without pockets. The life of being a woman. Um, so just in case you're in that same exact situation, which I'm probably, I'm sure nobody <laughs> is. Just a little heads up. But just that little trip on the red thread, we didn't even go to that many places. And a trip to the museum, it's already three now. It was like a day in Hanover and I felt like I did so much and so little at the same time. And now I'm gonna do like the Germans do. And I'm just gonna sit quietly at a bench and enjoy the view. Um, and then go and catch my train back to my little village. What a good day. I feel so much better. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you have a particular video or you have a question you want me to answer and I would love to do that. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Cheers!